No matter our age, men and women hear the message, taller is better. But who really needs to be taller and who deserves prescription drugs to do it? 7 Action News reporter Alicia Smith explains some growing options. They say the advantage is taller, like taller means happier. Pediatric endocrinologist Angela Lennon can help with that if you qualify. I'm here to help people with health problems, not I just want to be taller. Lennon helps people like 13-year-old Angela Schilling. She's pretty average, something the Schillings celebrate. It, it's a miracle. It is a miracle. Seven years ago, Angela's parents started to notice their little girl was truly little, by far the shortest in her class. She was, I don't know, just over 40 pounds. An endocrinologist told them Angela had a growth hormone deficiency. She was only expected to ever grow to four feet, seven inches tall. I was just really concerned that if she didn't have this treatment, that she would go through life just feeling that she didn't fit in. That treatment? Growth hormone injections every day for years. A decision that wasn't easy. This is the way God would want her to be and that we might be messing with that. Are you going to be able to drive when you're an adult? She would have a lot of trouble buying adult clothing. But Lennon says not everyone who asks her for the drug has a medical condition. A lot of people just want it cosmetic, pure cosmetic. Then in 2003, the FDA began allowing growth hormone treatment for people with idiopathic short stature, meaning they're perfectly healthy, just short. It was the idiopathic short stature that opened the floodgate. Lennon says the average woman is five foot five, the average man, five foot nine. But if you're a woman expected to be no taller than four foot 11, or a man no taller than five foot three, you can qualify for growth hormone treatment. It's causing a debate in the medical community and a rush even Lennon has seen from families wanting to push the limits. More people come like, I'll just pay for it, and then they know, get the prize, and they're like, oh, okay. Without insurance, the drugs can cost tens of thousands of dollars per year. That keeps most people who don't need it at bay. But even if a family had the means... I would not treat that. I mean, that's like, no, no, no. That's like my ethical it. obligation. Okay, Angela. Angela's case was never about vanity. And the shillings say, well worth it. Angela is now almost five foot two. Alicia Smith, 7 Action News.